everyone, Stacy Burke here. <laughs> Today is Wednesday the 8th of November. I didn't post a video up uh, today. Uh, I'll probably post this up tomorrow or maybe I'll post it right after I'm done filming it. I don't know. I just want to check in with you guys once in a while because, you know, I did my grocery haul and then I did that, um, that uh, update, a past boyfriend uh, thing. Yes, or today was it? I, no, I posted it yesterday on Tuesday. <laughs> Anyway, today was like a weird, frustrating, but it was kind of a frustrating day. But I tell myself, when you go through speed bumps sometimes, or you go through annoyances, it's actually a learning experience. So anyway, first, I woke up, you know how I usually wake up at 4.30? I woke up automatically at 4.30, and without the alarm, usually I have my cell phone as the alarm. But I woke up by myself, like just without the alarm, and I looked at my TV, and it said 4.30. But I look at my phone, it says 1.59 a.m. And you know, when you're coming out of sleep, you're like, okay, what? What's going on? 4.30, 1.59, 4.30, 1.59. of them is correct, and either way, i got to be up 4.30, so I'm going to have to get up and investigate anyway. Well... My TV was correct. My phone said charge 100% and it said 1.59 a.m. And when I touched it, it was really, really hot. So I tried to turn it on, turn it off, wouldn't turn on, wouldn't turn off. I um, I tried to swipe it. I tried to do everything. It would not, it just was frozen. I don't know if it was a charger because I bought... Uh, I have a, the original charger I got on my phone, which is a Samsung Galaxy, I keep in my purse. And then the charger by my bed, I got this at, I don't know, I got it some kind of, I don't know, store. It's like a supercharger, but it's a really long charger. And I probably shouldn't keep the super, I shouldn't have probably had it on the supercharger overnight. Because uh, I think it, that was the problem. But anyway, it was frozen. And I thought, okay, well, I'll just take off the back and take the battery out and put the back battery back in. I couldn't even open it to get the battery out. It would not even open. I don't know if it was so hot that I just couldn't open it. Or maybe the new Samsung Galaxies you don't open. Anyway, I couldn't be bothered with this. I had to get ready for work. I came to work. Uh, I was so hot, I actually put my phone in the refrigerator thinking that would help. And I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to call Samsung support when I got to work. And guess what? After I was calling Samsung support on the regular phone, because at work we have a landline. See, this is one of the things with cell phones. We got so used to having cell phones that when if they do die or something, you're out of touch. You can't call anything. You can't call it because no one has landlines anymore. And it's not like I'm addicted to the phone, like I have to check it. That wasn't the problem. First, I was just wondering, like, okay, is my phone going to be okay? Second of all, if anyone is trying to get a hold of me, like Burke's Law, I always say, that is the time when my phone would be dead. That is the time when someone really needed to get a hold of me. Or I'd miss a very important text or email or who knows. But I knew that it, everything would be fine. So when I get off work, I would go to Verizon or I would try to figure I, I knew everything would be fine eventually. But, uh, but yeah, so when I got to work, I thought, okay, I have a landline phone. I'll just call Samsung support. Well, this was like after, I, you know, I'd been awake for a few hours. For some reason, my phone... It didn't... It wasn't frozen anymore. It was as dark. In other words, like... Somehow, I guess, being hot for that long and being out of the charger, I guess it just, it lost charge. Like, it, it, I looked at it, and I'm like, oh, it's now it doesn't say 159 anymore. Like, I couldn't even get that to turn off. Like, it just said 159. Like, I couldn't turn off the phone. And I saw it was dark, so I, I clicked it, and it said battery dead. I'm like, oh, I'll use my charger that I have, you know. So I charged it, and it said two hours till fully charged. I'm like, oh, it's working normal. It's not hot anymore. So I'll just wait for the two hours to charge. It did. Phone works fine now. I'm pretty sure it was a charger. So that was like a little hiccup in the road, but not a big deal. Nowadays, it's not a big deal if your phone like breaks. You just go and, you know, 
even if you don't have money for the phone, they, they usually put like tack it on like per month on your bill. So it's like, it's not that big a deal. Okay, another thing, as you know, the light in the kitchen burn out and I got one of those circle lights that, okay, now my phone's going crazy. I got one of those circle lights that um, are expensive, hard to find, and it was defective and it was broken. And I'm just, I don't want the circle light anymore. So I've been, I wanted to get a normal screw-in light. Well, finally, one of the guys came in and he told me what to buy. So I went to Home Depot and I bought what he told me to buy. Well, I, I actually, I went there and I was asking the guy, the home, you know, nowadays you don't get these people that help you anymore. Like I miss full service gas stations that would check your oil and everything. And I miss going to Home Depot and, and, and someone helping you. No, you, to find someone that actually knows what they're talking about is really hard. And I'm at Home Depot. This old gentleman, and I told him what I needed, that I wanted, and there's no fixture. I need a fixture. I need this. He told me what to get. So I bought it. And I, and I took a picture of it, and I text the guy that's supposed to fix it. And he goes, no, 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 that's not what you need. Because it looks like you screw it in. You don't have a thing for to screw it in. You need the actual screw-in light fixture. And I go, that's what I told him. But it's not. And I looked at it. I opened up the box, and no, nope, it was the wrong one. It was 32 50 or whatever it was. So I'm like, oh, hell. So I had to go back to Home Depot. Go back to Home Depot. They go, you got to go to returns. I go, before I go to returns, I want to make sure I get the right one. I need help. Help. And they go, okay, we'll pay it to you someone. It took them forever. I'm literally in the aisle going, help, help. And no one knew anything. They just walked by me. And they go, like, like, you work at Home Depot. Isn't there anyone that knows what they're, like, knows? Because I'm trying to buy something. Steer me in what I need to buy because I'm going to return this, obviously. Do you want me to buy some or not? Finally, I found somebody that I could actually talk to. And I go, look, the guy sold me this. I don't need this. This light fixture screws into something that's already there. I don't have that. I have wires. I need a, I need something that makes into a screw and light bulb. And he, and he showed me what to get. I need a 14 inch, but I got the nine inch because I don't care. I go, to, he was trying to show, sell me like something fancy. I, go, I don't want a fan. I don't care about fancy. I don't care if it's just a screw in light bulb. I don't care. I just need something that's a screw in light bulb thing. So he steers me in the right direction. I finally buy it. But before I buy it, I had to go to returns. Oh my God. That's another thing. I hate going to returns. I'm waiting in a long line for these, this return. Because everyone's returning something for some odd reason. And there's only two lines. And it's just like, oh, my God. It's almost like where you, I see why people don't do the returns. Because it was just, I was in hell. I'm just sitting there forever and ever and ever. Finally, I get to it. But the lady was really nice. She took it off. She gave me cash. Because I didn't want to pay with a credit card. Well, I don't have a credit card, but debit card. I didn't want to do that again because I didn't want to be reimbursed and then pay for more. And then I, I just go, can't. I don't want to do that. She goes, okay, I'll give you cash. Here's $32.50. And, and then I go, this one's $11. So then I give her $11. So that was awesome. So it did work out fine. I did waste some time, like, you know, just in line, you know, first world problems, not a big deal. But the same token, it's a learning experience because now I know what kind of light fixture I need. So now I have a light fixture I need. Now I have this guy that's going to come and fix it for me. And I know everyone's saying like, oh, call your property management. And it's like, I don't need to call them because it's like, I could totally just get a circle light. I'd rather just spend my own money and fix it myself because I just want it done right and I want it done nice. And um, I know whatever I do when I move out, they're going to keep. And that's fine with me. The light fixture cost me $11.50 not a big deal and then it's like it'll be a nicer light fixture than what they have right now so i really don't mind i've been here for 10 years i'll probably be here for another 10 years hopefully if not longer so i really don't mind i rather just do it and then because it's like who knows because they'll get someone to fix it'll be taken forever and they might not do it right i just rather make sure it's done right so Little things like this, I really don't mind fixing myself. I really don't. It's the big things like the 
the leaks or something that's with the building that's that's going to cause demise to it oh by all means i'm calling them asap because i love this building and i want them to know whatever's wrong with it so they they can fix it so i don't want to be the cause of any more problems in this building so that was that so now i'm home it was just it's just it's doesn't it was more frustrating at the time. Looking back, it's really not that big of a deal. But that's what's going on with me right now. And then tomorrow, I don't get to watch Louis today. Usually I have Wine Wine Wednesday where I, 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 I puppy sit Louis, the big basset hound, on Wednesdays. But I'm going to watch him tomorrow instead. And that's when the guys, I have two guys that said they were going to fix it. So I don't know which one I'm going to choose. <laughs> I have so many guys to choose from to, to um, install the light fixtures. That's going on tomorrow. And I'm thinking about i got to get the Christmas lights soon. So I might get the Christmas lights this week or I might get it next week. I don't know. But anyway, that's just to catch you up. I know. So exciting, right? So exciting what's going on with me. Oh. Yeah. Did anybody get those phone calls? I ignore them. Ever since, you know how Yahoo had that breach and there's Equinox, there's a few breaches where your telephone got sold to, well, I'm one of those lucky people where I get a phone call from Florida, Massachusetts, New York City, and they're all like um, either they're telemarketers or they're the ones that say, oh, you are in deep trouble. The law enforcement's after you for the tax evasion, you know, those scam, those scam things, those scam phone calls. Oh, yes, I get them all the time. Luckily, I never answer the phone. If you know me, try to call me. I'm like Trisha Paytas. If you really want to get a hold of me, you text me. I don't answer the phone. First of all, I like text better because it's proof of what people write to you, and you can save them for proof. And also, when you're on the phone, you might hear something wrong or you might not remember what they said. So I like text better because, you know, you can reread it. Because sometimes you read things wrong and you reread it and you're like, oh, okay. And it reminds you of certain things. It's just, it's just, I could absorb it better than if you talk to me on the phone because I might not understand you or I might think I hear you correctly and I don't. Or maybe I think I think I know what you mean, but you don't know it or I'll forget. Texting is so much better. Plus, you don't have to verbalize it. You don't have to interrupt and, and tell everyone as you're on the phone what you're going on, telling everyone. You text it. It's quiet. It's simple. Easy. Breezy. Cover girl. Text is the way to go. Text and email. So much better. And it's good for records, too. <laughs> so, that's what's going on with me i don't know i'm going to go on this weekend i'm finally feeling better i still have this hacking cough but i'm finally getting better from being sick for two weeks so yay on that one so just checking in with you nothing that exciting i'm sorry i'm sorry i have other videos i want to talk to you about and stuff oh and that reels thing i was going to do a video like people remember on reels tv i did this interview on reels tv and it was going to air it aired a long time ago I cannot find it. It's not on their YouTube channels. It just got brushed under. It got it aired. If anyone's seen it, let me know. It's on ReelsTV.com. It's on the cable. It was basically about the 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 you the Us Weekly magazine famous feuds, and it was about the Holly and Kendra thing, the Holly Madison and Kendra Wilkinson thing at the mansion. You know nothing. You know, it was just, it's old news, but it's basically they wanted to interview me about that. Um, and so I basically answered whatever questions they had, even though I probably couldn't really answer much. But that's what was bad. So if any seen that, let me know. Or if anyone recorded it, let me know. Because I thought on the Reels channel, they have a YouTube channel, and they usually put all their stuff that they air on there. But I guess it wasn't that exciting. <laughs> guess it wasn't that exciting because it's just I can't find it so oh well I was on TV if anyone saw it you saw it if you did it good luck ever finding it again oh well that's about it 
Well, I'm going to let you go. Do all my stays good afternoon. I'm a Brickette. I hope you have a groovy day. Until next time.